Well, boys, today I bought myself an abandoned property. We don't know what's out there. We don't know what we're going to find. But what I do know is we're going to go check it out today, see what's out there, and see if we're going to make money or lose some. So we're going to hop on our Raptor here, get going out there, and see what we can find. By the way, if you guys enjoyed today's video, help me out by giving that like button a little tap. It helps out the video a ton, and I appreciate it so much. And you know, while you're down there, if you're not subscribed yet, we're trying to hit 200K by the end of the year. We're super dang close, so subscribing helps a ton. I think I got to grab gas first, though. Even though this thing is like brand new, it is still a pig on gas and it takes a lot of it. So this property that we're headed out to right now is about 20 minutes away. So it's a little bit of a drive. But uh, once we get out there, man, I'm excited. Hopefully we make money because the last property I bought, we did not. We actually lost a good amount of money. So hopefully this time we can turn in our luck around a little bit. So this is the driveway to the place here. Actually looks pretty dang fancy, but the place on the other hand, not so fancy. Yep here it is first time seeing this property because it is a uh online auction when we bought this place and uh, we didn't get to see any of the uh buildings or anything it was sold as is now this property is actually in the nicer part of uh the state here a lot of mountains a lot of trails all that good stuff and uh, people like to buy expensive properties out here now this one on the other hand was not so expensive we still paid a good amount for it and uh clearly there's already a few things out here so our plan for today is to go out here, go take a little bit of a look around, see what we can find. And uh, if we end up finding some good stuff, we'll take it on back to the shop there. And then eventually we'll come on back here and then clean the property up. That's uh, kind of the goal of this. And then uh, resell it to, of course, turn a profit. Now, the property we bought here goes from this fence to a little bit over there, not much. And then this fence to kind of like right behind this shed. So yeah, kind of right where these trees are, where that shed ends, that is it. I just got to take a quick peek in this shed here, see if there's anything in there. My guess is there's not going to be much because this property looks pretty cleaned out other than, well, there's a few little things out here, but we'll get into that in a minute. Just took a quick peek in there. There is absolutely nothing, but what is kind of cool is, hey, we got an ice cooler here. This is like what's usually outside of gas stations and somehow, some way we've got one out here. Um, I think this was some kind of a project at some point. Uh, looks like there's a little bit of work going on here, but uh, yep, not much. Hey, we got a bucket though. We'll put that in the back of the truck, take it home. I'm always need new buckets. And well, let's get into what obviously is the first thing we noticed in the yard here. This, uh, oh, I don't even know what year this could be. It's an older international four wheel drive here. I'm guessing this thing probably does not run. This does not look like kind of a farm. It's more of just an acreage. So who knows why they had this thing laying around here? Yeah, our property kind of ends right back here right at this shed and note that granary is not ours but yeah just a few little things back here not too much but yeah this is kind of cool i don't really think we really have a need for this i think we'll just try sell it because i mean we're a landscaping business we don't need a big four-wheel drive tractor got an old fuel tank here let me check and see if there's anything in there nope nada and if it was it'd probably be some really old diesel or gas and we are not interested in that shed has got a lock on it and unfortunately i did not bring my bolt cutters so looks like we're not gonna go in there today an old four tracks kind of fancy this one uh yeah this one's been sitting out here for a while you can see just how like the sun is just absolutely wrecked this plastic here i don't know the exact uh, details behind this property why uh it's completely abandoned i mean it was sold anonymously online so who knows what's in this house um could be some really sketchy stuff i don't even know if i want to go in there right now i think we might actually just try to demolish this house because it is looking yeah not great i don't really feel like a renovation project right now so yeah we might actually just end up demolishing this and just bring it on uh, a newer house and I see a truck back there we'll, we'll check that out in a minute okay let's try pop this door here nope nope not going up at all and I don't think there's any other way into this well let's get to this probably what I'm most excited for an old Ford that's right boys if you ate yesterday thank farmer I don't even know how they got this in here unless they just pulled it back through there but yeah this one's been sitting for a while yep i don't know if this one's gonna be moving anytime soon we might have to uh bring the skid steer or something out here and just try drag it out i don't know we're gonna try it uh, see if we can find a way to get that out of there because i definitely want to take this thing back home at the very least i mean hey it's a ford is it coming swapped or is that just a sticker i don't know We'll find out. Is this an outhouse or what? It kind of looks like, uh, kind of looks like an outhouse. An outhouse with a window. So not too much else to the property here. I mean, pretty simple. Let's see if we can see anything back here. Yep. What's this? Some sort of old water trough. Yeah, I'm not seeing much else back here. Just some fields and whatever. We don't own any of this. Just the, uh, kind of house area here. So yeah, my guess is here we're going to come back with some equipment. See if we can get some of these things out of here. I'd like to at least get, uh, that truck for sure. Someone tipped the mailbox over. Oh, man. Oh, I kind of need a mailbox, too. So we'll just uh, toss that in the back of the truck, too. There we go. Oh, no, my bucket fell out. 
I needed that. Okay, well, we'll come back for it. Nice driveway, though. Just the shame the property's so wrecked. But it's a project, I guess. Oh, you know what? I got an idea. We're actually going to stop in at the neighbors here and see if they knew anything about the property. Because I'm kind of curious. Man, they got a nice place through here. Look at this driveway. Oh, I, I guess there's an easier way to get in. We could have just went that way. All right, well, I guess we're going this way instead. We'll go see if they uh, knew anything about that place. Well, just had a chat with the owners of this house here, and they said they actually have no idea that that place even existed. They never seen anyone come in and out of there, and uh, yeah, I guess they were no help there, so we're gonna head on back and uh, see if we can find some answers a little bit later as to what the heck actually happened to that property. I'm confused. All right, well, I think we're gonna take the uh, big old F450 here and our case tractor here with our big old brush cutter, because definitely gonna need some of that to uh, get uh, a lot of that brush rush cleared out and then eventually of course we're gonna bring in the zero turns and all that good stuff to get uh the yard looking as good as it can be but for now that uh, case should do gotta get this whole thing up on the trailer here she's definitely seen some better days well we are back here let's see what we can get done i called the guy on the way up here and uh he's willing to take the old international off of us here so that'll be gone out of here by the end of today because really we just you know, we don't need it i can't ever see us needing a big old tractor like that so it is sold and out of here all right let's get this old thing backed off of here oh who the heck is that? Some random guy just pulled up. I don't even know this guy. Um, I guess I'll go have a chat with him here. Wonder what he wants. So I just had a chat here with this older gentleman, and uh, he said he came up here to see what the heck we were doing. And I said, well, I just bought this property here, and I'm just out here to clean everything up and make it look good again. And uh, he said he owns some of the fields around the area, so I was just curious as to what I was doing out here. And he said he actually knew the original owner of this property. He ended up dying quite a few years back, and this random guy came here and bought this property up. Now, it turns out the original, original owner of this property, the guy that died, collected cars. And this shop right here housed a bunch of them. So that random person that bought it before us here cleaned out all the cars and everything. And uh, yeah, basically put the property back up for sale. And I'm assuming that's who we bought it from. So yeah, um, I guess we missed out on a bunch of cool cars here. So that's kind of a shame, but oh well, not much we can do here. But hey, he was just curious to uh, see what was going on up here. And uh, yeah, understandable, I guess. Well, that's good. At least we got some information about uh, who owned this place before us. Unfortunately, I don't think there's any more uh, collectible cars back here. I mean, other than this uh, old truck, but that's not really too collectible. So kind of a shame, I guess. But with that out of the way here, we should probably get to work. I'm going to uh, try and see if I can get that old truck out of there. And then uh, I think that guy's coming to pick up that international here real quick. Actually, you know what? I'm going to drop off this uh, mower here and we're going to try to put that quad on the trailer may as well just get it out of here all right that should do it right there kind of funny i'm driving a case while wearing uh all john deere pretty much go figure i guess i don't know what i'm gonna do with all this wood here i don't know if i'm gonna finish up this well house here or not but eh, i don't know we don't really have a use for this so ah who knows we'll figure it out eventually but since we got the forks on this tractor here i think i'm gonna try pull this old truck out of here see if we can get it on the trailer i doubt it's gonna run it is unlocked though i don't know why i didn't go in it before clean interior man but uh no keys so maybe the keys are in the house but i don't really feel like going in that house uh well yeah we'll maybe go in it later here i'm just going to uh get that thing out of there because there's no way it's gonna run the way it is right now but hey maybe we can get it running in the future well, we got it this far here. It's been uh, kind of tricky because we don't have much steering on this truck. So it takes quite a bit to push it up there. Oh, man, it's really not wanting to go. I should have just kept going with it. Come on, Case. Well, we got it this far at least. Had to take off the quad because uh, that was going to get in the way. I don't know if we're actually going to be able to fit that back on there. Unless we put it in the bed of the truck. Eh, and we'll just save that for another time here. I was really hoping I could get that on, but oh, well. It'll be fine to sit here another day or so. It's been sitting here for years already, so... We can just leave it. Oh, we'll get this thing back to the shop here. I got a buddy who's a mechanic and uh, he can just go over this truck. It'll be a nice little work truck, I think. If we can get it up and going again, as long as the motor or tranny's not blown. But I guess we could fix that too. I'd prefer not to though, because eh, those are just a whole nother deal. But I'm thinking in the next couple days here, we're going to get all of this cleaned up back here. Get it all mowed, looking nice again. Get some of the bushes cleared out. Get some of the old materials. Definitely take my mailbox back home because I definitely want that. Been needing a mailbox. Oh, that in my bucket too. Can't forget that. We'll just toss that in the bed of this truck this time. There we go. I don't know what we're going to do about this uh, big old shop here. I think we might just leave it here, get some new fencing in and stuff, and just kind of leave it there. If the next person that buys this place wants some storage, because, you know, probably wouldn't be a bad thing. And then, yeah, just kind of work from there. Well, you know what? I guess the time has come. We'll take a peek in the house and see what's in there. Hopefully, I can find those keys. Oh, oh man. There is that house. There's a lot of uh, rodents in there at the moment. Whew. 
definitely some raccoons in there but i got the keys for the truck and the international so that's all that matters yeah that house is quite the disaster so we're probably just gonna end up tearing that thing down oh man that was not a fun experience but i think definitely fixing up this property and reselling it is definitely going to be the move here but anyway guys that's gonna be any episode for today if you did enjoy smash that like button also if you're new consider subscribe and hope y'all enjoyed and i'll see y'all in the next